Hi, my mathematicians. Now that you are experts in multiplication big numbers, we are going to move into dividing um, division. And what we're specifically going to be talking about today is remainders. Remainders is what is left over what is left over after dividing into equal groups. Now remember, the whole when we divide, what it means is that we're trying to see how many goes in each group, how many groups of. So for example, we're going to start with one. We have, oops, let me get my pencil. 10 divided by 3. Now what I want to remind you, because this bit pot might been a while, this is groups. So we have three groups and we want to know, and we have 10, this is the, I'm going to say, objects. So we want to put 10 objects into three groups. So the first thing that we're going to do is draw our groups. One, two, three. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to start doing fair share of 10. Now, the easiest way to do fair share is just to count as you are marking through each one fair share. So I'm thinking like if I'm giving cookies to my friends, and I have 10 cookies and three friends. So I do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and I can't put another one in there because I don't have enough. So 10 is what's left over because if I put it in here, it's no longer fair share. Remember that we have to, for dividing, we have to have fair share. So the answer to this one would be three goes in each of them, and this is how we show a remainder. We put R for remainder, remainder one. So each child would get three cookies and then there would be an extra cookie. The thing to remember is this number right here is how many groups you draw, and this number is how many goes into, that's how many you have to fair share out. Now, when we're doing these, we have to make sure that um, we don't get confused with how many numbers that we're um, putting in here. And that's what I see a lot of students, they forget their count. So that's one thing that we want to practice here. All right, so let's do another one. Let's do 28. I'm going to show you the other way that you might see it. You might see it look like this. And so these are the two different ways to see the dividing. This still, this is red, 28 divided by 5. It's kind of red backwards than what we're using. And this is 10 divided by 3. This is 28 divided by 5. And the same thing with this one. The number on the outside is how many groups. Okay, and this is what we're going to divide into the groups. So this time I'm going to use... And you don't have to use circles, you can use squares. Two, three, four, five. And now I've got to do 28 fair share. And the same thing. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. Now I'm at 25. I don't have enough to give my next one, so I'm going to stop right there. And 25, 26, 27, 28. So you kind of have to be looking because when you get close to that number, you have to decide if you have enough to do a fair share. Because if I kept going, all my circles would not be the same. So this one, how many is in each group? There's five in each group. 
And how many are left over? What's our remainder? Our remainder is 3. So there's a couple tricky parts here. You, and notice I started writing them by twos. That way, if I got lost, it's going to be easier to count by twos than if I have to restart all over again. All right, let's do one more together. Let's do... Eleven divided by three. And I'm going to go ahead and put a star by the number of groups. So that means three. One, two, three. And I'm going to have to do eleven. So I'm going to do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, 11, so I don't have enough. So that's going to be 10, 11. Has to go out there. So then my answer to this one is how many is in each group? 3. And what's our remainder? 2. That's what's left over. So this is, this part is how many is, ends up in each group. How many in each group. Okay, so today we're going to be practicing really getting an understanding of what that remainder is, what's left over if it can't be in there equally. Because remember, when we're putting them into groups, they have to be equal groups. So whatever can't fit in is what's left over, and that is called our remainder.